Rational Team Concert using the ISPF client with ZOS Unix System Services. Beginning with version 3.0.1, the ISPF client functions are expanded to work with directories and files on ZOS Unix System Services. Projects that contain non-ZOS resources can now be loaded in the USS file system space on System Z. The ISPF client now supports specifying where to load non-ZOS resources, editing non-ZOS resources using an ASCII editor, and performing other SCM operations on loaded non-ZOS resources. After logging on, enter option 1 to connect, you'll see information about the server you are logged into and the current project area you're working with. Enter option 2 to work with the repository workspaces. First, we'll load a repository workspace flowing to a stream where the mortgage application sample source code has been shared. Use the L action command to load the repository workspace. Enter a dataset prefix and a ZOS Unix directory as load locations to indicate where resources can be loaded. On each menu, all possible actions are displayed by pressing the forward slash key. You can also press F1 to see the character description list for action commands. Scroll down to see the abbreviations for typical actions. To edit the Unix loaded directories from the ISPF main menu, select number 3. Select ZOS Unix directory location. Enter L to list the directories loaded in the workspace. Press F3 or F12 to go back to the directories level. Notice the two different colors. The darker color means those actions are unavailable. The lighter color shows the actions you can perform. Next, we'll edit and make a trivial change to a resource file in ASCII mode. The Editing Options panel opens and ASCII is selected as the default. Select Enter to open the file and input your changes. Press F3 to save the changes and close the editor. You can also use the Options menu bar at the top of the page to customize or change these options at any time. Selecting to bypass the options means that the next time you edit a file, the editing panel will not be displayed. Notice this time we went directly to editing the file and bypassed the Editing Options panel. The asterisk in the SCM column indicates that you need to check the change set into the repository workspace. Use the C Action command to check the change set in. A prompt opens to associate a work item to the change set. You can also add a comment to complete the change set information. The next step is to deliver the changes to the stream. Return to the Repository Workspace menu by choosing Menu at the top and selecting Option number 3. This character indicates an outgoing change set. Enter V to view details of the changes or D to deliver the changes. The delivery is complete. You can return to the last accessed Unix directory by using the JU Action command. Next, we'll perform SCM operations on the non-ZOS resources. You can create a new resource from the Directory List panel by entering the command S followed by the name of the file you're creating. Press F3 to save the changes. Enter C to check the change set in. Switch to the Outgoing Change Set screen and enter V to view details of the change. The plus character indicates that the resource will be added. Enter D to deliver. Enter M to rename the file. Enter V to view details of the change. Enter W to associate a work item to the change set. Enter D to deliver the change. Enter D to delete the file and press Enter to confirm delete. Enter C to check the change set in. 
Enter V to view details of the change, and notice the minus character indicates the resource will be deleted. Enter D to deliver. Enter I to view all the properties of a resource. Enter H to see all the change sets made to the resource. If a yellow error message appears in the top right corner, enter F1 to bring up details about the cause of the error. This concludes the Rational Team Concert ISPF Client Demo. For more information and demos, please visit www.jazz.net.